the first thing you need to be doing is number one, picking up her cell phone bill, mm-hmm. making sure that you get a, a baby. How much do your nails cost? How much does your hair cost every month? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make sure that I zell you this amount of money, three hundred dollars. I'll zell you on the first every month. Yeah. So that way you can make sure you get your hair done, your nails done, and I take care of your cell phone bill. Mm-hmm. Real men do that. So the, so the first date is really about figuring out how you can pay for everything that she's got going. on. I mean, on. basically, why like, shouldn't it be that? And and if you don't, if you don't make enough money, you either need to start working extra time just or you another, need to delete that girl alone. Just get just get a second job. Or or go get somebody else. Go get somebody else. You're not you're not suitable for her. Nah. Just a man on a mission, ambition to never fail. Personality electric he is animated male. Intelligent and wise, calm and often cool. Chris James giving opinions while also speaking the truth. Empathy and compassion. Stephen Michael is here, helping you through your traumas, helping you with your fears. These three forces combine and keep it honest. She's not the most beautiful thing in the world, right? But he still loves her. Like guys can do that. Yeah. Like I can look at my like when I was when I was married, like I listen, I knew my wife wasn't the most beautiful thing in the world, you know what I mean? But I liked her at you know, when I married her. I thought she was pretty. I, I don't think that she was ugly. Like she Why y'all keep using past tense. What it was. I mean, because you know, I mean, you know, weird. she changed. You you know, know, some people change and evolve. I just keep hearing all this past tense you know when I first so, met her. Sometimes you, sometimes you start off as charm, man, and then you evolve to motherfucking Charizard. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's evolution, baby. It's part of life. It happens. Hey, can we um, can we switch? You know, because I don't want to seem like we're just pointing out the negatives and bashing when it comes to the women. Are we? I don't know. I don't think we are, but. A lot of people. First of all, I th- I think I did a good. It, but all I'm saying is, a lot of people <laughs> they say <laughs> that we're just pointing out all the negatives. No, that's all they hear because exactly. I specifically talked about men. I did as well, intentionally. But I just want to highlight what is this? Whatever. <laughs> I got to cater to the audience, baby. Like, is there like when it comes to our women? Women and- are princesses. <laughs> Uh, they're all queens. They're queens. Yeah, make this a real. <laughs> you should you should never allow a woman to touch a door. Never. She should never have to open up her pocketbook. Never. Ever. I'm going to tell y'all something. She shouldn't even have to use a card. She should have Apple Pay, which means she should not have an Android. She, didn't even have, she shouldn't have to walk. She should have someone who's personally care hers everywhere yeah. she really goes. Yeah. Look, if y'all, if y'all are taking these women out and you make her walk anywhere Mm -hmm. whether it's from the car to the restaurant from the restaurant to the table you're not doing your job as a definitely not not, doing your job definitely not you're you're a failure as a man yeah you need to step it up like if you are allowing a woman to have to open her own door to her apartment when she's coming out of her apartment you know you should already know (laughs) to come out of your car she's going to text you and let you know hey I'm not on my way. Bam. As soon as she gets ready to fucking mm-hmm. open, you better be right there full, holding the door for her yeah. to full make sure. court press, bro. You, know I mean? you, you got to guard her like curry. You better, full court press. You better make sure that you open that damn door. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, you, as soon as you start dating her, I need you to go ahead. If you were a real man, right. right? If you were a real man, as soon as you start dating her, right, after the first date, the first thing you need to be doing is number one, picking up her cell phone bill, mm-hmm. making sure that you get a, a baby. How much do your nails cost? How much does your hair cost every month? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make sure that I zell you this amount of money, three hundred dollars. I'll zell you on the first every month. Yeah. So that way you can make sure you get your hair done, your nails done, and I take care of your cell phone bill. Mm-hmm. Real men do that. So the, so the first date is really about figuring out how you can pay for everything that she's got going. I mean, on. basically, why like, shouldn't it be that? And and if you don't, if you don't make enough money, you either need to start working extra time just or you another, need to delete that girl alone. Just get just get a second job. Or or go get somebody else. Go get somebody else. You're not you're not suitable for her. Nah. And, and matter of fact, I would take it as far as like, you know, we talked about the cheesecake thing. That guy was hundred percent at fault. Oh. Absolutely. Definitely was at fault. He was at hundred percent fault. He should have known to take her to this extravagant restaurant because she's a queen. She exact. She needs to be treated this way. She's well, getting courted. I, she dro- she showed up. She was she dressed beautifully. beautifully the purple she lipstick. had the purple lipstick with the with the matching oh, contrast. She took and her dress. time to get dressed, and I'll, you know he ha- he should be thanking her 
you know, you know what? Thank you for allowing me to wait an extra hour. You know, for he didn't have nothing else to do. Actually, he was sitting in her presence, basking, waiting, anticipating her. Actually, look, here's here's how here's how I knew that he knew he was wrong. When he originally said that he told her, "Okay, I'm gonna come get you at four, thinking she might actually be a little late. Right. right. So what you should have done is you should have scheduled two. <laughs> He, yeah, two he should have two, two different women. restaurants mm -hmm. because he knew the type of woman that she was. It don't. You think she throws that together in five minutes? Absolutely Come not. On. It's going to take at least an hour. You on. know it's going to take an hour. So he should have had a backup restaurant already on point. Mm -hmm. Prepaid for her. Prepaid. Prepaid for her. Yeah. Yeah. I think that and it's. – I'm not sure if he gave her a compliment, but in general, when we go on dates, we have to make sure – that we are stepping up and acknowledging the woman for who they are. If they're wearing something nice and they took all their time, every single day that we see them, we must make it apparent and let them know, hey, I see you putting in all this effort and you're dressing nice yeah. and you're dressing well. Even if you say it and you don't get any compliments or anything, it doesn't matter. because what How you feel, it doesn't matter. It's all about her. Everything needs to be highlighted about her. And so you're not doing your job as a man if you aren't putting in the effort to acknowledge, you know, her outfit, even if it's, you know I mean, on some bullshit. You know what I mean? No, if she feels good, you feel good. That's right. all that matters. Just put her number one, happy wife, happy life. Even if she's not your wife, happy girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are you pursuing her for if you don't plan on marrying her? Right. What's the point? So... Happy life, happy wife. Start from day one. Might don't, as well. Don't introduce her to an energy that you cannot maintain. I mean, I don't see why we don't teach that in, in high school for all, to all the young men. And also, here's the thing y'all got to understand about these young women. They're going to match energy. Mm -hmm. So if you provide Lux lifestyle, mm. Lux experience, mm. you put her first. You make sure all of her needs are met. You cook for her. You don't let her touch doors. You buy her whatever she wants. You pay all of her bills. She's going to be there. Mm -hmm. She needs to accepting be accepting it. She, she's going to give you back what she can in a feminine way, the same way you gave her nails, the money, the cars, the clothes, the protection. You got beat up on the street because a guy touched her butt and you went to fight him and he had three friends and you still got beat up. She's going to stay by your side because you did everything you could take care of her, man. And then next, like she should be able to wear what she wants. Yeah, let her wear whatever she, like, what do you mean? She has, if you're a confident man. She has to be comfortable. Like, why, like they make these clothes and all that stuff that define beauty. Why shouldn't we allow our women to dress the way that makes them feel confident and makes them feel, even if it puts the men at risk. Like, you should yeah. learn martial arts. Yeah. You should be able to do something that's protecting your woman at all times. Provide she, and protect. Exactly. Yeah, if that's she, your job. If she wants to dress in a mini skirt that's revealing everything, you know, it's showing her body looks nice. She should be, be you know, feel comfortable enough to walk in any street, even if it's in like a downtown over the Rhine area where there's homeless people mm. and things like you should be able to protect this woman. Yeah. You know, you should at have all that, costs. At all costs, you should have that just that, that mindset to put that woman first and say, you know what? I'm going to protect this woman going down this crazy street with these cats who looking like they'll do anything for mm -hmm. a piece of this. You ain't getting a piece of mine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Ain't happening, man. So yeah, man. That's a real men do. Yeah, man. So ladies, we understand. And we got your back. We got your back. You know, we got to make sure the fellas out there they understand. I'm not. I'm not playing. Look, they here's the other better. thing. Here's the other thing that y'all got to realize, right? A beautiful woman, she's an investment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have no problem investing in stocks and bonds and, you know, uh, different companies, startups and things of that nature. So you're going to invest in a woman the same way you would invest in a bond or something that's going to pay you dividends or pay you interest. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Because, you know, in, in, in five, ten years, you know what I'm saying? She's like fine wine. She's only going to get better it's with gonna time. It's going to get better only with gonna age. Get only going to get better with time. Every woman is like wine. They're yeah. getting better with time. Yeah. You got a guaranteed rate of return, mm -hmm. right? And the more you invest today, the more you're going to get five years from now when she's still there. This is easy money. Like It's like, it's like don't even look at the women who haven't learned much about life 
we don't want those women yeah. who don't have much, you know, we life don't, experience. Yeah, we don't want that. We need the woman who has all this experience. Mm-hmm. We need someone who's mm-hmm. aged and they have all this personal experience. At least 30 and up, right? At least 30. I mean, they, they have to have, you know, if they have multiple partners, it's okay because it gives us, it makes us feel more comfortable. I so, bet you won't be complaining when she put it down in the bed. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? The more, the more people she's been with, the more experience she has, she can take care of you. Why yes. would you want somebody? Who's only been with a couple of people who really don't know what she's right. doing? Right. If she's if she's like t- timid and scared, well, not scared because that'd be a little bit crazy. Like yeah. You can't be scared getting it in. Mm-hmm. But she's like, huh? You know, a little shy in this situation. She ain't got enough experience. Yeah. You, you can, don't want hey, to. you know what? Go back to the streets. Mm-hmm. Once you get out of those, st- hey, we gonna take you out of the streets. Yeah. You know what I mean, and then we be like, all right, we want you. You mm-hmm. know, this is exactly how we want. Look, you. the reality is. A real man wants a woman who knows what she wants. Right. And in order for a woman to know what she wants, she has to have, she's got to be well traveled. She's got to have multiple partners, multiple experiences. Um, this is going to help her develop through trial and error. Mm-hmm. She thought she wanted that. No, she mm-hmm. figured out she don't want that. By the time she gets to you, she knows exact. you are exactly what she wants. Yeah. When she chooses you, you got to think. She done been through 14, 15, 25 different men. She think about it, mm-hmm. and she's choosing you. Yeah, mm-hmm. that means you are creme de la creme. And she, or you know, she got all the DMs. She got all these options, and she chose you. you know what I mean, you should feel lucky. You should feel like the first Pokemon. Yeah, you know what I mean, you, you know should what I mean? feel like Ash Ketchum. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I choose you, baby. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, you know I me, mean? mm. all that. So yeah, shout out to the women out there who, uh, you know, who's getting that <laughs> example. Mm-hmm. And yeah, all that, that stuff. They gonna they gonna love us for that one, <laughs> bro. Our, our channel's about to sky. We, we, <laughs> we about to go to the moon, we're baby. Going, oh, to the top. We gonna we we gonna kill the hoes that we one. We gonna kill the hoes mm, that we one. We gonna kill them. <laughs> hey, I tried. 